J.K. Rowling's advice on how to succeed after failure. So Ichiro Honda began helping his father who ran a small bicycle repair shop from his earliest days, giving him access to lay hands on quite a number of tools, machines and motor parts. When Honda grew old, he started his own workshop where he worked so hard to design a piston that he could sell to Toyota, Japan's best known motor company. At some point, he had to sell his wife's jewelries to get some extra funds for his business. Unfortunately, Toyota didn't think the product was good enough. Things got worse when World War II came. All of Japan's resources went into the war effort and there was no money to produce new cars, neither were there enough money for those with a new type of piston. So Ichiro however managed to build a small factory for his production. Unfortunately, his factory got bumped twice but he went ahead to build it a third time. This time, the war had ended and his factory was destroyed in an earthquake yet again. However, Soichiro did not give up. Instead, he was motivated to pursue an idea bigger than an innovative piston. Author of the Harry Potter fantasy series, J.K. Rowling, after dealing with failure for so many years, teaches us some of the best ways to deal with failure. In this video, I'll share with you one of J.K. Rowling's advice about how to deal with failure. This I believe will help you become a successful person and if you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, according to J.K. Rowling, failure is so important. We speak about success all the time. It is the ability to resist failure or use failure that often leads to greater success. I've met people who don't want to try for fear of failing. Like success, failure is a good teacher and director. It is a part of every human's life. Besides, failure makes you better. Dr. Sam Collins, an executive coach and speaker, in an interview with Forbes said, We are taught from a young age that failing is bad and something to fear. I imagine everyone is scared of failing when it comes to going after their big goals and dreams. However, I also knew, though I resisted it to begin with, that I needed only to ask myself, what's the worst that can happen if you fail? Why failure is important 1. It pushes you out of comfort zone Contrary to what a good number of people think, failure is not a step backwards but a stepping stone to success. The fear of failure is something a good number of us deal with because as Dr. Collins rightly said, we are taught from a young age that failure is bad. However, when we fail at something, we are able to overcome that fear, stretch ourselves and reach for something bigger. 2. Failure is a redirection When we fail, we are forced to evaluate the situation. Why did we fail? How did we fail? This makes us refocus or re-strategize until we find the right and best way to achieve success in what we are trying to do. When Thomas Edison, the man who invented the electric light bulb, finally got his model after 1000 attempts, was asked how he managed to deal with failure 1000 times, he said, I have not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. If we all viewed failure as Edison did, as a tool for redirection rather than an outcome to settle for, then we'll understand how to succeed using failure as a tool to re-strategize. 3. It helps you discover your potentials Failing at something gives you the strength to do better when the next opportunity arises. No one likes to fail twice at something. By pushing hard to do better than the previous time, you discover certain potentials you probably didn't ever imagine you could possess. To reach the great height you've always dreamed of, you have to deal with several obstacles including overcoming failure. While doing this, you'll most certainly discover new traits and abilities that will open more opportunities for success. Colin Powell said, There are no secrets to success, it is the result of preparation hard work and learning from failure. Little wonder J.K. Rowling said, Failure is so important. We speak about success all the time. It is the ability to resist failure or use failure that often leads to greater success. I've met people who don't want to try for fear of failing. Now that we know why failure is important, how can we deal with it? How to turn failure to success Number 1. 
Don't stop trying. Be consistent. You are not strong because you think you can, but because you have constantly practiced and act. Hence, you know your capabilities. Constant practice produces a constant result. Look at it this way. When you first visited a gym or your first attempt on a treadmill, you probably couldn't last two minutes. However, after constantly practicing and using the machine, one hour non-stop is probably child's play for you right now. 2. Seek inspiration Whether you decide to seek inspiration from a mentor or by simply pinning your favorite pictures or quotes of things that you look forward to achieving in the near future on an inspiration board hung somewhere you can easily access, the most important thing is to seek inspiration and visit the source every day until you can feel it, breathe it, and mentally live it. 3. Re-strategize When failure happens, it is simply saying that it is time to re-strategize. It's a time to look back at what happened, to figure out what works and what doesn't. As tough as it may be to give yourself another chance at trying it out and seeking opportunities that would make you succeed, it is important to embrace your new path and quit feeling like a failure. Refocus and redirect. Failure is so important. We speak about success all the time. It is the ability to resist failure or use failure that often leads to greater success. I've met people who don't want to try for fear of failing. After Soichiro Honda's third factory was destroyed by the earthquake, he still didn't give up. As a matter of fact, he came up with an idea bigger than an innovative piston. He used what he had learned as a child and what he had thought himself later to create a bicycle with a small motor on it. However, he needed capital to put his idea into production, so he wrote letters to 18,000 bicycle shop owners asking them to help him make Japan a leader in the motorcycle market. It worked. He got enough money to start production. In post-war Japan, where gasoline was scarce and most people couldn't afford a car, the scooter was a huge hit. That first motorbike was exported to the United States, where it became popular as well. Soon, Honda was the number one motorcycle brand in the US. So Ichiro didn't stop at making motorcycles, he started making cars. Nowadays, Honda models such as the Civic and the Accord are fuel efficient, reliable and consistent winners of quality awards. You see, failure is so important. We speak about success all the time. It is the ability to resist failure or use failure that often leads to greater success. I've met people who don't want to try for fear of failing. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.